It's time now for your science buzz stories, creating a little bit of a buzz in the world of science this week. And first up, it sounds like something right out of a sci-fi movie or a thriller. Scientists say they want to resurrect a tiger that's been extinct for a very long time. This is the Tasmanian tiger use that used to roam the Australian bush before its extinction almost 100 years ago. They plan to harness advances in genetics, DNA retrieval, and artificial reproduction for the project. The lab may have to combine, though, the long gone animal's genes with those of another animal, creating a hybrid form of the predator. I can just hear the movies coming now. <laughs> All right, you're about to meet a very cool little fish. The variegated snailfish is so cool it can live in sub-zero conditions without freezing to death. That's because it produces a natural antifreeze in the form of a specialized protein to help it survive in the frigid waters off of Greenland. In fact, it has the highest level of antifreeze proteins in any known living creature. The glowing property isn't unique to the variegated snailfish, but it's the only fish in the polar region that can do this. Scientists are worried, though, about what might happen to animals that are so adapted to the cold as oceans warm up in decades to come. And in just a little over a week, NASA's Artemis 1 is launching as it aims to validate the safety for the next generation of human exploration missions. Now, Artemis 1 is a demonstration test to show the vehicle is ready to take astronauts, a new series of astronauts, into outer space. NASA hopes it will lead the further Artemis flights, where the first female astronaut and astronaut of uh, female astronaut of color rather will be sent to the moon. Now they will be the first U.S. moonwalkers since Apollo 17 in 1972, and the long-range plan of Artemis is to eventually send astronauts to Mars. So from the moon to Mars, and that is so exciting. If you have any interest in outer space, this whole next generation of missions to eventually go to the moon and beyond.